Hello channel friends. Today I'm doing a video and it's going to be about a Smith & Wesson HRT FBS. Here's the knife. Now when you talk about HRT FBS it stands for Hostage Rescue Team Fighting Blade System. It was developed for tactical and FBI use originally. Now when you say, okay, is it exclusive? Of, no, of course not. These are available to be purchased on the street. But it has a certain characteristics that SWAT and law enforcement like. First off, it's skeletonized. Makes it light, not too heavy to carry, and good for everyday use. Okay. Here's a nice little look at it. Now going into the particulars. It's a manually operated knife. It's not semi-automatic or spring assist or anything like that. Uh, as far as the particulars, it's a four and a half inch closed liner lock. The overall length is 8 inches and it weighs 4.8 ounces. As you can see, it's partially serrated with a drop point blade. And this thing is extremely sharp right out of the box. The blade is 440 stainless with a black Teflon coating. It has ambidextrous thumb studs and it's anodized aluminum aircraft style. It has a lanyard hole right here. And it's a really nice little knife. The pocket clip on the back is not reversible. Of course there's the liner lock construction. It's very open, very very light. Very easy to work with. Folds nicely. Now, it is designed for a tip down carry. Okay, and you can't reverse it. If you're a lefty, uh, you just have to work with it if you want this particular knife. For special ops and FBI hostage rescue. Opens pretty easy. It's got moderate jimping on the top. It's good to get a, get a good grip on. The blade length is average for a knife. I mean the width. Width is about average. And when it's closed, it's fairly well centered. Not too bad. That does have Chimping on the bottom. It's got a really good feel. You can't tell on the camera, but it does have a nice feel. Now, one other thing is you can't really tell it, but this anodized aluminum and the Teflon coating is not is not that smooth. It's it's kind of like if you're holding on to a, a book where the pages are frayed a little bit. It's got that kind of a feel to it. It's, a little bit of a rough texture. I can't really get too good of a zoom here. My camera won't won't quite do that. But it it, it does, if you were to feel it, it has a rough texture. I picked this up for a pretty good price. It was a closeout at Big Five, as I believe about fifteen dollars. So any kind of knife that you can get from Smith and Wesson or anybody like that for for that kind of money is going to be a good price. Now, let's give a little paper test. Not bad, not bad at all. That's operator error on that. See? Not bad at all. Very, very sharp point. I haven't even touched this thing. Highly recommend it for everyday carry. 
one thing I do know is that with this pocket clip, it's not going to ride low on the pocket like the ones if you have the pocket clip up real high. But it's still a really nice knife. Smith and Wesson, Smith and Wesson HRT fighting blade system. Check it out at your local store. Have a good day. Stay safe. And I'm a gone.